TV. Who are believed by most mainstream archaeologists to be the earliest human civilization on Earth. I think he means Nephilim. You know what he's saying is true, right? Recorded stories about power. I know that he thinks it's true. It's definitely true. I'm not saying it was aliens. But it was aliens. Hi, Misha here. And that intro clip box absolutely recorded without my uh knowledge i mean i heard the camera coming on there's a long-standing joke between he and i about ancient aliens uh i'll talk about it one day in black box but it's a fun thing now and we're gonna get into some more aliens yaucha predators we've kind of been working our way up through NECA. started off kind of with the newer ones but uh, went back to wolf from Alien vs. Predator Requiem. Then we looked at the Super Predators, Berserker and his crew, where they achieved more articulation. And then around 2014, give or take, they released figures in the original AVP line, the film from 2004. I guess they finally had the license. I don't think earlier on they did. We are going to get to Scar, Chopper, and Celtic. Don't you worry. But I thought, let's start in the past with a couple of pretty cool, unique secondary figures from the film. The so-called Ancient Warrior Predator and the Temple Guard Predator. These are on a newer body. And really, we're the first to have the 30 points of articulation that we know today. Although they have a couple of features that NECA seems to have dropped, or at least not used all that much. They were not considered ultimates or deluxes, but they were the first to really introduce the interchangeable concept. And also, really the first to um, have a lot of accessories. All of these come with it. And they're a much larger body overall, at least eight inches, most of them verging on nine. And they're just bulky, kind of following the theme of uh, AVP. Before that and after that, Predators were tall but slim. Here they're kind of bulky. Now these guys don't really have names as such, but we do see them in the film briefly. So let's talk about them, why they were on Earth, have a little fun. Beginning with Ancient Warrior. Yeah, like I said, this is a new body with more articulation. There are pivots in the upper arm and lower, although always on mine the lower is very stiff. There's also a deeper cut elbow joint. The hands are on a ball. And then the full modern leg rotation And uh, he does have some chest and head and usual stuff. And, you know, I've said before, the bare feet never really did it for me. He's actually wearing shoes, or at least sandals. And he does have kind of an ancient look to him. In the uh, AVP lore, at least, predators, Yalcha, came to Earth thousands of years ago, taught humanity how to build and established temples, pyramids, and used humans, not really as slave labor, but as sacrificial for the uh, birthing of xenomorphs, facehuggers and the like. It's okay. I mean, it's a very kind of common thing now, very ancient aliens of them. Although it wasn't quite as pro prolific when the first AVPs came out. Actually, all the way back in 1989 in the comics, but again, the film had to wait about 15 years. And uh, I will say this, at least the Yaucho were nicer to the humans than, say, uh, the gold. So, there's that. But they definitely didn't see much of humans. So he's pretty well armored up. 
a bulkier and one nice thing about predators you can have all kinds of excuses for different looks and body types because they have different clans and you know they're from a planet or planets so just like humans you'll have tall skinny and kind of short fat and all between and we see this guy doing a ritual on earth thousands of years ago breeding aliens for a hunt presumably a, a blooding ritual and we also see them detonating when uh, things don't go our, their way. Because they say if, they, if the xenomorphs threaten to escape, they don't want them to get around Earth. They'll blow everything up. This is not the first, but one of the first models from NECA with a fully opening wrist computer. Now, what they did unique here for the wrist blades... This is pretty much all the ABP line. Instead of being retracting in and out, they actually just plug in. And each figure would come with two, and they could be of varying lengths. I know of at least three lengths uh, fully in. This is kind of medium, and there's a fully out. So you can mix and match. And that was kind of the idea with the ABP line. Instead of giving you multiple accessories, for example, his combi stick. This guy actually does come with the combi stick collapsed in. Now it's a different type type than we saw in AVP2. Excuse me, uh, Predator 2. Because those were actually stolen after the film or otherwise lost. You know, with your ultimates, you would usually get both. But with most of the AVP line, you would uh, just get one or the other to, uh, fully in, fully out. And you could just mix and match. Now, what made this guy a little special is he did come with both sticks this is full, fully out and this is kind of a slimmer spikier design but since combi sticks were customized for their users it's fine you would expect variation and the same would go for hands the uh, hands were meant to be removable and so each one would come with different hands you had to kind of open you had closed to hold things and you had fisted Yes, I know. And they intentionally kind of match skin tones so they could, um, you could, you know, pull one off on the other. Now, they weren't quite to the point that they were doing interchangeable heads like we would get later. A couple had removable masks like the uh, Elder, and we'll get to him. But typically they would sell you an unmasked and a masked version a few times, like for example with Scar. So they weren't quite there yet. He also, of course, has his caster, backpack style, sort of like jungle, but it's actually very articulated. It actually moves up and down on the backpack, and then it's pivoting up here on a little hinge. And uh, while the backpacks tend to be interchangeable, and that's another thing they kind of marketed, the actual casters on top are, are usually unique to each guy, either a unique mold or just a unique paint job. And they do unpeg, so you can mix and match them while leaving the backpacks on. And the backpacks do have additional storage, sometimes utilized for figures like Chopper, but usually not. And then there's a clip in the back for his stick. So you can really see the progression. And one unique thing to these is they have a sheath on their right thigh for a little short sword or big dagger. And it's kind of neat. It's uh, pronged, kind of two pieces. And we do see these in AVP being used. It's part of the ritual. So it seems to be more of a ritual weapon. And these fit in these sheaths very, very well. Um, they go in very easily. But I've never had one fall out. They just, it's the, just the right amount of friction. So that's kind of what you get here. Um, they also come with a, a few extra little trophies, which I don't really see the point of, frankly. But everything else is cool, and the armor does vary, even though most of these are on the same body. And uh, articulation's pretty good. There's a little bit of limitation because of the bulk, but uh, compared to earlier ones, they're doing a lot better, especially for the legs and the feet, and they stand quite well. And I haven't had trouble with the backpack falling off, but 
your mileage may vary. The combi sticks can pop off, but they're they're on pretty good, especially if you kind of put the notch above so when it comes down it comes on. But yeah, this is the ancient warrior who would have been going to earth and going to a predator temple either to participate in a blooding ritual breeding a xenomorph or maybe monitoring young bloods doing it you know an el and not an elder but a blooded or even elite yaucha again he's a bit of an unnamed guy but still cool i don't know and i did pick him up new in package but he's a few years old now now we come to the temple guard or predator guard and originally I wasn't really looking for this guy, but I ran across him and thought, eh, why not? And I'm really glad I did, because he's kind of unique. He has the uh, scimitar-type weapons, like Choppa. And uh, he just comes with a combi stick. Pretty similar gun. Well, no, it's actually quite different. Never mind. I guess I'm thinking a different one. There's so many of these. He does have a different caster. Compared with ancient, so that's cool. Otherwise, the yeah, the the armor is a little different. Still has the ceremonial dagger. The only issue with mine, and I've had it happen with more than a few of these, the joint here, lower arm rotation. This one I could broke free this one i have tried and tried and it does not want to go tried the hair dryer tried the freezer yeah i'm not going to risk breaking him funny thing is up here is kind of loose on both sides but oh well i've had that happen with a couple my, my scar came like that too it's not so noticeable since you know the computer and he does have alternative short blades on the other side of his hand gauntlet and he comes with the fully retracted little blades there but again they're totally interchangeable so you could swap them out if you if you wanted to up to you but yeah this was the guardian of the temple as it were they would actually forego hunting a big a big ass for a yacha to protect the temples kind of monitor the hunts basically act as enforcers police a, a paramilitary unit and that's kind of what attracted me to him they would also guard uh, clan elders and uh, shamans and that kind of thing too so they were more of the, the government servant types which explains why he comes so armed. And this figure actually comes with probably the most accessories. You just get the one combi stick, but you get fully deployed versions of the big blades. I put the shorter ones on him so I could put the full ones on chopper. Make them look a little different. He comes with uh, the short little blades, the caster, he comes with uh, the short sword. Pretty much the usual. Um, very long wing cloth. And he too is wearing sandals. So yeah, these are the guys who kind of monitored the hunt. And also, if they weren't on planet in the temple, they would be doing other kind of government duties. Because as much as uh, predators love to hunt, Kind of the old Klingon thing. They can't all be warriors. Well, someone's got to be the police. Got to be the the maintainers of things. So, this is him. Pretty unique bio mask, too. Pretty unique feature, uh, figure, all in all. But, um, and has the chainmail armor. That's one neat thing about the AVP that I personally like. I mean, I wouldn't want it for every Predator, but to make them different, they, um, they have more clothing. Armor 
kind of chainmail looking stuff. What do you think? Here they are. Here they are with a face hugger and a little chesty burster. Just showing their thing. Oh, let's find them interesting. Why not? They're fun. I really do like that these stand quite well. Again, my only real gripe is uh, sometimes those uh, lower rotation joints are very, very stiff. And uh, as bulky as these figures are, and since it's one of the newer NECAs, I wouldn't worry too much about it breaking. But I'm not going to hog on it either. It's not worth it to me. He can just have his uh, blade on the inside for right now anyway. But what do you think? Kind of lesser known figures really only from that one minute or so scene from the film but it's nice to see different yaucha either an old hunter or a silver a civil servant basically <laughs> and uh, next time we'll talk about the actual guys in avp the original but that would kind of look at more of the body and stuff so what do you think? Do you think NECA has improved since the days of Wolf and even the Super Predators? They certainly have added more articulation. Of course, there are some shortcomings to that. And there is still one major step left as they get into the Ultimate Era 2018, 2019, and to today. But, um, yeah, and these can they, they came on card Fun story, when I first unpacked Temple, usually their stuff was kind of in front of the tray. But his blades, all of them, were actually, because he had so much accessory with him, they're actually on a separate piece kind of behind him, you know, laying flat. <laughs> At first I'm like, what the hell? Where's his blades? But uh, I found them, because he actually came with a total of six. Although they're not interchangeable. The little pegs are smaller, the holes are smaller. And the big ones fit a, a larger slot. But um, there we go, guys. And uh, remember, all conspiracies are true. All that stuff. I cannot believe that Ancient Aliens is like in season 16 or 17. It is, uh, it's, it's, it's probably the best comedy on TV nowadays, though. <laughs> oh, History Channel. What happened? Oh, well. This is Misha. Catch you very soon next time.